Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do a volumized underscarf and I'm going to be showing you two ways on how to do that and for this tutorial you will need a few things The first thing is a volumizing bobble like this one here or a volumizing clip So if you guys are curious on how to make one of these yourself then check out the link below Okay, so the next thing you'll need is an undercap This is the kind that I'm using here It's called a bone cap or a bonnet cap I, I don't know there are loads of other styles and designs of these, but this is just the kind that I use. The next thing you'll need is a very thin, like this one here, you can see me through it, a very thin rectangle scarf. And the last thing you'll need is three safety pins, around about this size, this size really works well. First thing you want to do is tie your hair in a bun. If you're using a volumizing clip, then you want to tie your hair in a low bun, around about here. If you are using a volumizing bubble like the one I'm using, then you'll want to tie your hair in a high bun, around about up here. The next thing you want to do is put on your undercap. Now I'm already wearing my undercap here because I don't want you guys to see my hair. So I'll just put another one on top just to show you guys how I do it. So get your undercap, put it on like so on your head, and then just shimmy about, fix it around your face however you like it, and then get these parts and tie them around the back of your head. And then voila, you're, you're done basically. Okay, so once you've got that done, you want to get your volumizing bubble or volumizing clip and put that on your head. If you've got a volumizing bubble, then all you have to do is put it around your bun. This is your bun, this is your bubble, and you put it on like so. But if your bubble is a bit loose, then you can just tie it around twice like you would with a normal hair bubble, but mine's fine, so I'm just going to put it around once. And it's on like so. Okay, you guys really cannot see anything, so I'm just going to shimmy you up. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Okay, too high. Yeah, yeah, that. Okay, that will, that will suffice. Now, if you do have a volumizing clip, then all you have to do is clip it above your low bun, and that is all. Now, just to make sure that this volumizing bubble is super secure to your head, what you want to do is you want to get a safety pin and basically pin the bubble to your undercap. So, you can see the bubble here, and you can see some empty space here. You want to pin this empty space, just by the bubble, to your undercap, and that will just keep everything secure and just make sure it stays in place. So I do that and then I pin it and I do that and now it is complete. And now what you want to do is get your thin rectangle scarf and put it on your head like so. Keep a little bit of bandana space just in case you do want to show it when you're wearing your head scarf. When you put this on just make sure it's equal on both sides so mine's equal. And what you want to do is you want to get this and put it behind your head. And when you put it behind your head you want to put this side on this side and you want to put this side on this side. So you're just flipping it over basically. So now that it's flipped, I'm going to flip it over once more just to make it secure. You can just tie these in a knot around the back of your head, but that does leave a bit of a gap with the scarf and it just looks really weird, so I tend to stay away from that. So get your pieces again and flip them over. So this here and this here. Done. Now that's all secure and it will stay there in place. Now if you guys can see, up here there is a bit of a kink and a gap and it looks all weird. So what you want to do is get one of your sides wrap it around your head just to fill up that gap so make sure you put it in between that gap it's just like poly filler just flattens it out and just keeps it all nice looking then you, what you want to do is get this side and put it over your head again and this will help just to fill out the space and just to flatten down any weird kinks and bumps that you might get okay now you've done that you have these two pieces here and you want to put them behind your back and just tie them now you've got these two little floaty pieces you want to get a safety pin and pin this to the part that you just folded and to your base here. Make sure you do the same with the other piece. And that is how you do a volumized underscarf. There is another way you can do this, I'm just going to show you guys this now. Okay, for this part you just want to start off with your undercap and your volumizing bubble or clip. And what you want to do is you want to get your scarf and you want to put it around the back of your head and have one short side and one super long side and you want to get your short side, put it over your head in the middle so basically it's going to fill the gap between this and this and just put that there and you want to get a safety pin and just pin this down here next time you put it around you want to just press down your bubble so it just flattens it out and put it over like so and you just want to safety pin this here and that's basically how you do that Everyone's got their own preference on how they like it. I personally like it the first way that I showed you. For some of you girls, you might find this more comfortable than the other style. So just go with the flow and go with what feels best. 
Anyway, once you've worked your desired underscarf, just place the scarf on your head and tie it around. And that is the end of this tutorial. This is how the back looks. It looks voluptuous and um, volumized. It's fabu, darling. Fabu. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Next video will be an outfit of the day. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. And I'll see you guys in a week. Bye.